You say that there are friends who say, who think that PCs and Aquarius signs are compatible with each other and that their marriage would be okay. My advice to such friends would be, let them go and see the judicial records, look at the divorce files in the courts, see the people who are in jail because of capital offense, people who are in jail because of assault and batter of a high and aggravated nature. They will see that a lot of them are PCs and Aquarius signs. Is that so? Of course. Sir, by the way, my sign is PCs as well. No, being PCs is not something bad. PCs, nothing that meaning. I also am known as Aquarius. I mean, that's not something that could be believed in. I mean, I'm just saying this to stress on their being just fallacies. I see. They think that this person's sign is Leo, and that's compatible with this and that sign. But let them go and see. Sir, for a moment I got a bit afraid when you said that. No, let them go and see the judicial records. They will see that it's not the case. Compatibility would only be real by the power of wisdom, depth, and the fear of Allah. For example, if a person is sure of that woman's fear from Allah, I, for example, am sure about that person's fear of Allah. I am sure that she loves Allah deeply. I am sure that she believes in Allah. That would constitute a form of guarantee for me. I mean, that would be a guarantee for me about that woman. Then I would feel relieved. Then, what do I look for? I look for sincerity, for example. If that person has all these features, she would anyway be sincere. She would be genuine. First of all, a sincere person would never lie. Then a perfect human being starts up here. On top of all, someone carrying all these characteristics would anyway be beautiful physically as well. That is to say, Allah would beautify her, turn her into someone very amiable. I mean, her manners would be beautiful, her voice, her address would be beautiful, her gazes would be beautiful, her skin would be beautiful, her exquisiteness, her manners, everything about her would be very beautiful. If that's not the case, I mean, if she doesn't have fear from Allah, I mean, that kind of a woman would be very, very dangerous. I mean, she can do anything. She can rat, she can double cross, she can play games. I mean, she can do things that you cannot even begin to imagine or visualize. I mean, a person cannot even be sure of his own life there. I mean, he will be trying to defend his own life. I mean, he would be in mortal fear. That is to say, he would be thinking about how he could protect his own life. For that reason, happiness would not be an issue in such an environment. If you pay enough attention to such marriages, you will see that threats of divorce would be flying around from morning till night. They would be just newly married. On their third day, divorce would be a subject on their agenda. The woman would slam the door and leave, would go to her father's house, and a stink would be raised. Then the man would go to her father's house, take her and bring her back, they come back home. I mean, a myth every second day, a stink kicked up every second day, people saying negative things about each other, I mean such elusive words, such ironic addresses. Theirs would be a very restless, un